Another common painu, sometimes called a loa type verb, loa type painu, of course, meaning that these are all vs, these are all anu. Yeah, these are all conditions, or as we say, hopena. Um, now, the word maupopo um, is the word that doesn't mean, in a sense, to know something, but in fact, that something is known. Or not to realize something or comprehend something, but that something is comprehended or something is realized. And so, like loa, um, it's used in the same way. So, in English, you see, we got to re recognize in English is a very agentive language. So, in English, I might say something like, um, I know the answer. And maybe the answer might be something like, haina. In English, I know, what do I know? Yeah, I know the answer. However, in Hawaiian, when we use words like maupopo, just like loa'a, it's reversed. It's not focusing on the fact that I know something, but the fact that something is known or something is understood. So in Hawaiian, you're actually saying the answer is known by me. And again, the thing to remember is that the difference is that in Hawaiian, they're not focusing on the who, they're focusing on what occurred, what happened, which is the fact that the answer is known or the answer is understood. And so whenever we use maupopo, we talk about it or use it really in this way. And if you think of Using maupopo in this way is going to make it a lot easier. In other words, we are not translating the Hawaiian from an English idea. We're actually translating the Hawaiian from thinking in a Hawaiian way. And so we look at something like maupopo and the example. And again, maupopo meaning to be comprehended, to be understood, to be known, to be recognized. Maupopo. Um, now, this is a VS. This is a hopena. A common word, along with maupopo, of course, is, is, is its transitive form, which is the word ho'o maupopo, as we know. And anytime you put the word ho'o in front, it transfers the meaning into an action verb. Yeah, so ho'o maupopo is to, to purposely understand or to know something. But in Hawaiian, the common use of maupopo is, this is why we're, we're focusing on this, is because this is something that's highly used. Now, if we look at the example we have, uh, to the right, maupopo ya'u, it's understood to me. What is understood to me? So again, you notice in Hawaii, it's not saying I understand, but understood to me. What is understood is the reason. Kekumu. That's what's understood. So in Hawaiian, I might say, or thinking, the reason is understood. Well, which reason? The reason of dying is understood, or his or her death is understood. So whereas in English I would say, I understand the reason he died. In Hawaiian, you're actually saying, the reason he died is understood by me. Secondly, the example, and the same thing to remember is that it's, it, you can negate it very simply, just using aole in front. And maupopo is still the main word, the main verb, I should say. By whom? Ya'u. And what you do, what don't you, I understand, of course, is his name. So in English, to say, I do not recognize his name. I do not understand his name. I don't know his name. We have to think in Hawaiian, which of course is, his name is not understood by me. His name is not comprehended to me. So let's look at some examples on the whiteboard. So again, the word maupopo is a VS. Yeah. Um, and the word, just to kind of ho maupopo, is the agentive form or the transitive form, the, the so called hamani of that meaning. So maupopo, which means to be understood. Ho'o maupopo means to make somebody or something be understood. 
Okay, so let's focus on Mopopo again. And let's take a common English statement. Yeah. Uh, I know Kyola. Or I recognize Kyola. I understand Kyola. But if we think in Hawaiian, remember, we're not really saying, I know Kyola. In fact, in Hawaiian, you'll be saying, Kyola is known or understood or recognized by me or to me. In English, you might use the word by me. In Hawaiian, you actually use the expression to me. And you, just to pay attention to this, you notice what's real different in these two ways of thinking. In English, they're focusing on somebody performing an action. And so they're focusing on the who, the agentive. In Hawaiian, they really care about not who's doing something, but the fact that something occurred, something happened. So kiola is the focus in Hawaiian. And what about kiola? Well, it's not that kiola is performing an action again, but kiola, of course, is who's known. So you can see it's exact reverse from English. So in Hawaiian, to express Keola is known by me. Yeah. Uh, again, Maupopo, I'll, I'll use the Makapainu Ua. I can say Ua Maupopo. And what is understood? What is the Pico? Of course, O Keola. Keola is who is understood to me. Now, just like loa'a commonly, this use of a papani, like me, yeah, ya'u, ya'oi, ya'ya, ya'lawa, ya'lako, a common, of course, is that it will move up in this position, but both would be correct. Wa maupopo o keola ya'u, wa maupopo ya'u o keola. Common mistakes is they use maupopo as if it's a VT in this way, and so people will say, Wa maupopo vao ya kiola. As if maupopo is a hamani. It's an action. But maupopo is not an action. Maupopo is a result. So put a big star here, meaning pay attention that this, in fact, grammatically is incorrect. However, let me put a caveat here. However, because of our language shift historically because of our language kind of picking up many English traits or ideologies. What you find today in Hawaiian is that you might hear people using maupopo as a VT in this way. Now, I don't want to say it's wrong, uh, but for this class, for these purposes, we try to keep with the traditional uses of the word. And so I want you guys to, in fact, is to say, Uomopopo ya'u o kiola, and not Uomopopo vau ya kiola. Speaking like English is simple. It's the same. Uh, so let's look at another example. Uh, maybe I'll have, you know, kiola understands the homework. Oops. Yeah, that's in English. Kyola understands the homework. But like I said, we got to think in Hawaiian first. So it's not that Kyola understands the homework, but thinking in Hawaiian, of course, is the homework is understood to Kyola or by Kyola. And I'm going to put by because, you know, English commonly use word by versus in Hawaiian thing, which is actually to Kyola. So if we start off thinking in a Hawaiian way, it's a lot easier to, to use. The homework is understood. Wa maupopo. What is understood? The homework. Yeah. Kaha'avina or kaha'avina pilihome. Yeah, the homework is understood. Wa maupopo kaha'avina. By whom? Ya kiola. So that just like loa'a, right, it's either going to be e or ya to mark um, uh, who or by whom, as I should say in English. Now, 
let's say we want to put this into a so-called when. And maybe I want to say um, when Keola understood the homework. When Keola understood the homework. Same way as if you'd use other pine in the same way. Maybe I'm going to use one kia form. Yeah, ikamau popoana. Again, what is maupopo? O kahavina. And you notice I'm going to put this O here again. This is not a hamani. This is what is understood. Ikamau popoana. O kahavina. Again, common mistake is E. As if maupopo is a hamani. And then by whom? Same way. Yeah, yakiola. Maybe I want to use it as a uh, when, as a as a pinu form. Yeah, same thing. So it's not yakiola imau popowai ikahavina. That's an agentive form. But again, ikahavina imau popowai. Right when the homework was understood. So again, if you think it, when the homework is understood to me, or to Kyola, by Kyola, again, it makes it a lot easier. So my suggestion, again, think in Hawaiian first, and, you know, if you're going to translate, yeah, so again, we, we focus more on not translating how English is spoken, but really how Hawaiians think and, and, and writing in that way. Now, maybe I'm going to use a kahulu pepeke. Let me use the last one, right? I'm going to say, on the day that Kyola understood the homework, on the day, ikala, but again, on the day that Keola understood the homework has to be thought of in Hawaiian. On the day that the homework was understood by Keola. Right, on the day that the homework is understood. And we can do different ways. Ikala, Imaupopowai, Kaulu Pepeke, yeah. Kaha Avina. Ya Keola. But you notice in Hawaiian it's always Ya Keola. It's always going to be in that form. What is understood is not kiola, but kahavina. So I could say ikala o kahavina imaupopowa ya kiola. Iko kahavina la imaupopowa ya kiola. But the common kahulu pepeke. Ikala imaupopowa kahavina ya kiola. Okay? So again, the main thing to remember is to think in Hawaiian. Yeah, not to think in English and translate that, but to think in Hawaiian first and then so-called translate. Okay, with that, mahalo. Go for it.